What's up guys, welcome back to my channel or if you are new here, my name is Caitlin. If you are a pumpkin spice lover in any form or fashion to any degree, this is a video for you. The weather slightly cooled down last week and so I took the liberty to crank out the pumpkin and I have been out of control since. I have no chill and I'm not even sorry. I am in full send fall mode. It's funny because like two videos ago, I was like, I'm actually loving summer this year. And then the weather dropped and I was like, summer, who is she? Fall, you are my first love and I'm just living my best life. So today really is everything pumpkin spice. I have three different baked good recipes. As you kind of saw in the intro, I have a pumpkin spice loaf that looks like a pumpkin. Come on guys. So cute. So fall. So I have that pumpkin spice babka, babka, I'm not sure how to say it, and pumpkin spice pop tarts. All sourdough recipes. I even threw in a little bit of apple cinnamon pop tarts just for a little bonus for you. So we have that as well as a truly non-toxic pumpkin spice candle. That is right, it exists. So you can burn this candle in your house knowing that you are burning clean things. I'm so excited about that. I'm gonna be showing you that as well as my homemade pumpkin spice latte. I made homemade pumpkin spice syrup as well as have some other things that I wanna show you with that. So let's get right into it. But if you are new here and you like anything, homemaking, motherhood, baking, cooking, crunchy holistic lifestyle make sure you do subscribe check out my other videos and if you know any other pumpkin spice lovers make sure you send them this video as well so i woke up early it's about 6 a.m to get started on my bread this is my babka dough that i made last night it's been bulk fermenting on the counter since then and there is my starter that i fed last night before i went to sleep so i could wake up early and hit the peak as well as get my dough going for my pumpkin spice loaf. If you're a mom, I've found that waking up early before my daughter does to get the dough going and start doing the stretches and folds for it is really helpful because then when she wakes up and we can stick to our morning routine and the things that we have going on that day while the bread bulk ferments on the counters. And while I am waiting to stretch and fold it, I can read and do other things and just have quiet time and my own morning routine before my daughter wakes up. So I mix everything together. Now I'm going to let it sit for about 30 minutes. I mix it just enough so it can get together. And then I set a timer. I've been trying to drink some lemon water first thing when I wake up just to kind of get my digestion going. And it's also really refreshing, but I also try to eat within 30 minutes to an hour of waking up. So I started out with the lemon water, spent some time reading while I was waiting for my bread. And before I knew it, it was time for my first stretch and fold. What I love so much about sourdough is not only do you get to make things from scratch with your own hands for your family, you get to control the quality of the ingredients that you use and really it's just a hobby. It's super fun and it's something that I can also include Dakota in that we can do together. Even though she's still really young, she likes to help me stir and dump things into the bowl. And actually as I was baking some of this stuff, I looked over and she was in her tower and she had taken the butter and she had rubbed it all over her head in her hair. It was really funny and my mom brain forgot to take a picture of it, but like mother, like daughter, she loves a good all natural hair mask apparently because her hair was nice and greasy and buttery. And so we had to wash it all out. But I love that sourdough is a slow process and you are adding value to your family by providing high quality, nutritious food that you can enjoy together. So this is the filling that I am whipping up for the babka that I'm going to roll out here in a little bit. But as you can see, it's really simple ingredients all mixed together. Okay guys, I'm super excited. I just got my candle in the mail. It's from the brand Ro Casa Organics. I will say it did take a good minutes for it to ship. It took like over a week to just even ship, 
but I did get um, a notification that they were like running behind. So it's my first time ordering from this brand. So I'm really excited. I'm gonna be very honest with you if it's if it smells good or not, but it is non-toxic, which we love. So it looks like it comes cute in another little box. It's also very sleek, sleek looking. Let's see, the moment of truth. Does it actually smell good? And these are the ingredients. It's organic fractionated coconut oil, organic beeswax, 100% pure therapeutic grade essential oils, clove, cassia, nutmeg, and bergamot. Um, but it's also third party tested. So they legitimately test to make sure that the essential oils and everything is burning really pure. So let's open it. Oh. <laughs> It's good. And I'm pretty sure I read online, although it doesn't say right here, that it is like a hemp wick. So everything about it is clean. It's, it's good, guys. It smells really good. So this, I'll have a link down below. But this is how big it is. And I'm excited. I'm going to light this thing. Okay, so I'm gonna get started on my Babka now. It has been in the fridge. This is what it looks like. And I like to use a dry erase marker, as you can see, to mark where it first started out. You can see how much it's grown. And I'm going to use a scale to cut this in half and make two equal parts of dough. So this way it can be exact. I'm just gonna weigh it and be able to cut it in half and adjust accordingly. So I'm doing all of this while my pumpkin spice loaf, that's gonna look like a pumpkin, is doing its bulk ferment. So I got all my stretches and folds done for that. Now I'm rolling this out and I'm gonna try to get it into a nice rectangle. I'm not really too concerned about being it being perfect. So as you're gonna see, it's gonna be very similar to cinnamon roll vibes. I have my filling here that I'm gonna spread out as evenly as possible on this whole thing. And then I'm going to roll it up and cut it in half. I'm definitely not an expert with baking, but I think that's what makes it fun is I'm learning as I go. And honestly, I've found a lot of joy and pleasure in trying something new and just challenging myself, trying really challenging, maybe not really challenging to other people, but challenging recipes to me. And so most of what I've been making is just brand new to me and I'm kind of just winging it in some way, but I think that's the fun in it for me. Okay, so these are my homemade pop tarts. They turned out so good, they're very tasty. I made a pumpkin pie and apple pie flavor. Both recipes will be down below. And then I have a cinnamon glaze on top, but they were really good. I decided to not show me doing the same thing as always and just rolling out dough, but of course I made dough, rolled it out and cut it into rectangles. And then I put the filling in. This is what they look like on the inside. This is the pumpkin one, so good. And here's the apple pie one. So I, of course, mixed up some apples, cut them up, put in some seasoning, blended that together to make an apple puree. And this is my pumpkin one that I'm mixing up. Tastes just like pumpkin pie filling. These were a 10 out of 10, highly recommend. They are a sourdough discard recipe, so super easy to make.
this is the string that I used to make the pumpkin. This brand is really good. It's certified organic, unbleached kitchen twine. They have other stuff for the kitchen too. I use their parchment paper, but they are just a brand that really tries to keep things as clean as possible, especially when you're using things for baking and putting it in extreme heat. So yeah, I got this off of Amazon. Okay, so I'm gonna show y'all how I make my Yolki pumpkin spice latte. So here I have my yolk. This is a homemade pumpkin spice syrup that I made. I'll have the recipe down below. I took out half the sugar because I don't like mine super sweet. I think it turned out a little thicker than what I wanted to. Like it messed with the consistency. So I don't know if I would recommend that. And then I have this, which I love. It's literally just organic cinnamon, organic ginger, and organic cloves. So you could actually just make this yourself, but I get it off Amazon. So I like to put this right here. So when my espresso machine pulls the shot, it's going to get this as well, but you don't need an espresso machine to do it. You can just brew it however you brew your coffee. So I'm going to show you the whole process. Okay. So this is how much I usually do. I just kind of, I just layer the bottom, like just enough where it's covering the bottom. Once I add my espresso shot to my Yolki pumpkin mixture, I like to add in a scoop of collagen and mix that all together before I put in my frothed milk. Okay guys, this is my finished babka. Turned out so good. I put a brown sugar glaze on top and this is her side profile. Super yummy, almost like a streusel cake without the streusel, I don't know how to describe it, but this is my pumpkin loaf. Definitely not perfect, but it was very fun to make and I look forward to making more in the future, making some soon for the holiday season and just this whole fall. Thanks so much for watching guys. I really appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out and let me know what fall baked goods you want me to make next. See you next time.